Okay guys, I got a Mercruiser 5.7 comp ski and a Malibu Sunsetter that I cannot figure out a hot start issue. Um, I've changed the fuel water separator down along the stringer. I've swapped the mechanical pump for a Carter, Carter electric pump with a oil pressure switch, start run pressure switch. So it won't run after the engine shuts off or stalls or anything like that for marine use. Um, I've swapped the carburetor, the quadrajet's been replaced, um, ignition coil, I've tried three different coils, a couple XLs, a couple Protronics coils. It's had years ago a Protronics conversion kit on the ignition, Mallory ignition. Um, I put the points and condenser back in just as a, a sanity check to see if that made any difference, it does not. New plugs, wires, cap rotor's been changed, cleaned the flame arrestor. Um, swap the ethanol fuel out for 90 octane ethanol free. Um, what else did we do? Put the vapor separator fuel filter in. So it's got a single inlet and then dual outlets. The 3 8 outlet goes to the carburetor. Also change the filter in the carburetor itself. And then the quarter inch line on the bottom of that is for vapor return to the tank. So this, this quarter inch line goes back to the tank as a return. So the idea there is if you've got a vapor lock issue, which is what I assumed I had, um, it will push the pre vapor pressure down that quarter inch line to the tank. Uh, what else? I think that's all I've done. I can't think of anything else to do. But yeah, it, it just will not start hot. But if you dust the top of the choke plate with a bit of starting fluid, it fires right up. Which is why I can't figure out, I was chasing fuel delivery, but there's nothing else in the fuel system to play with. So just a little squirt and it fires right up. Can't figure it out. If anybody's got any ideas, let me know.